Hey everyone, Coder Steve here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your first web page using HTML. So this one is not going to be specifically about PHP, but it's going to be for uh, true beginners who just want to create a web page using their PC. So you don't need a domain name and you don't need hosting. You can simply create it on your on your PC and you can edit it and see how it works it's it's a very simple tutorial but it's a good one for someone that has no idea how to build a web page so we'll get started and i'll show you how you can do it firstly if you don't like my videos or subscribe please subscribe to my channel and give it a like because this helps boost my channel and it encourage me to do more videos so firstly we go to go to the go to the internet and go to um, here and, and search for W3 Schools Responsive Web Templates. So we can grab that and we'll click this top link and then you've got a load of free templates that you can use as your website. So we've got quite a few down here. But I'm gonna, for this tutorial, I'm gonna actually use this one, the blog template. You can do this one as a free blog template cv template so if you want a cv photo template this one black and white template so keep going down there's lots of lots of templates you can use on your website you know this interior design one calf and these are all free to use i think as long as you you keep the w3 school link in the bottom I think they're all right to use a house design template about me so you could use this as a personal web page template or this one uh, and there's next you could there's loads of different uh, pages and you can change the color on some of them so I'm going to use the blog one you can use any one any one you want I'll go back up and find it worth watching this video all the way through instead of skipping because you'll see exactly how i'd how i do it so i've got the blog template and here's the demo this is what it looks like on w w3schools.com so you might not have these images but you can put them in place and stuff like that so if we close this off and that's the template oh, oops, I the wrong one I'm going to go back to that, close that one, go back to the blog template and try it yourself here, click this, right, this is the code for the template and it goes all the way down, you grab it from the bottom like so and you copy it like this, so I've copied it, I've got all the code, right and now you want to use a text editor so you can use notepad uh, or notepad plus plus i recommend downloading notepad plus plus it's completely free to download so we can and then once you fire it up it's, it looks just like notepad except it says notepad plus plus you can download this for free it doesn't cost any money all you need is the system requirements or for your pc to run it which I don't think is very much. So anyway, you've got your code, right click, and then you can paste your code in there. So I've pasted all that code I've got from W3 Schools. I'll paste it in there. Now this, and then from here, I want you to pick, I'm gonna save it in my folder. I want you to pick down here, I want you to pick Hyper Text Markup Language. This is what HTML stands for pick this one and then we can save that as i save it as new so new web page i'll save that as new web page so if we click save under code test but i'll save this and we've saved it so now that's been saved and you notice the colors have changed they've changed to html colors so this is the file 
and it's ready for you to edit. You can edit this as much as you want, but we'll go and have a look at the at the um at the page. So we've got my project here. Go test project, go open that. And we've got it just here. New web page. So if I right click and I'll open with and then I'll open it with Google Chrome. You can open it with Internet Explorer, <coughs> Microsoft Edge. So I open it with Chrome and this is what it looks like. It comes up and it's in your local it's on your PC. So this is what it looks like. And as you can see that the images have gone, but that's not a problem because you can add an image back in using HTML image tags and link them to your to your um your own PC. So if I want to edit this, all I've got to do is fire up the bit of HTML, new web page HTML in the folder we saved it. And I could change this to say something. And I'll change it just here. And I can put it in there like that. And I'll click work file and save. Now if I go back to the the web page, which is here, and refresh it, refresh the page, you can see it changes. So that's how you can create your first web page and play about with it. Have a go, let us know in the comments what you think. It's quite easy to do, and you don't need a domain name or hosting at this point. It's just how you can learn HTML html so thanks for watching the video i hope you like and i'll see you in the next video